Oh, um, Ed and Lorraine are gonna be. Uh, yeah, they're they're gonna it. have a smaller role, but they will be in it. I think nice. I remember reading. I think I remember, that was my news a while ago. Yeah, and then they uh, they just announced. Uh, I think it's summer 2020. Nice for Conjuring Three. Yeah, as well. So the little bonus news for you. Oh yeah. Um, in some more news, comic book news, CW's Gotham is closing its doors, but not without a proper farewell. The full-blown Joker will make an appearance, and a boy, does he look fucking gnarly. Yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw that. Ooh. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, from everything that I've been reading on, uh, like, Instagram and stuff, because I follow a bunch of comic book uh, pages, they're posting you know, the pictures of, uh, I forget the actor's name, but, um... A lot of hate. Really? I'm getting like, like, oh, like, are you serious? Uh, like, wow, they fucking, they dropped the ball on this one. Why? <laughs> Just, I, I think, uh, for me personally, I think he looks kind of ridiculous. Uh, I don't know. He's he's an older Joker, but um, I don't know. I don't. I'm not. I'm not familiar with. I'm not all the way caught up with the series. So, um, I liked it because it looked uh, like they made him look like. Uh, all deformed. Yeah. How probably Joker would look because after you, falling it, into yeah, a yeah, if you know like his backstory and what bad yeah, acid. and what actually happened yeah. to him, it, I feel like he would look like that. Yeah. You know, deformed. Yeah. <laughs> a psychopath. So I know the last episode they're going to show um, the the kid in the suit. The yeah, Batman suit. it's supposed to kind of kind of bring him into his own as yeah. the Cape Crusader yeah. which is the whole point of the series yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway final episodes air April 18th and the 25th nice for anybody who's not hating on that <laughs> I'm not hating on it I just don't like the the way it looks no but no, no, I'm not, I'll definitely I'm not, yeah. I'll definitely uh, watch it when it gets on Netflix it's probably going to be the highest rated show <laughs> probably especially their that's pretty ingenious to be bringing it out right before the movie comes out because mm -hmm. there's all of this hype, all this hype yeah. you know because negative publicity is still publicity oh yeah and people yeah. are gonna watch it just like they watch walking one. dead to, yeah to fucking make fun of it or whatever <laughs> so as long as they get the views they don't care exactly um but uh yeah and in my last bit of news, check out the Dead Don't Die trailer starring Adam Driver, Tilda Swinton, Bill Murray, Steve Buscemi, and Selena Gomez. That movie looks hilarious. <laughs> that looks so good. It's like our new modern Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. And uh, was Jim Jarmusch is uh, directing it. Holy shit, what a great director. Uh, I can't wait for summer now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even hear have it. Have you I, seen the trailer for that? Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's it's fucking funny. hilarious. Yeah. Like the driver's like, oh, yeah. Uh, These are ghouls. Ghouls, you know. <laughs> Zombies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the end of uh, my news. Oh, yeah. And now it's time for the weekly recommendations. Back to you, James. All right, uh, so I got two. My first one is um, a Netflix original called The Order. It's uh, uh, it's brand new. Just came out, I think, in the last month or so. Um, it's about this kid who's kind of trying to get into a uh, secret fraternity. Kind of reminds me of, like the Skulls, okay. but it has to do with like magic and fucking like black magic and shit. Mm. Um, uh, I think there's werewolves in it, uh, and from the trailer it shows something about like a, a monster, but uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm on like three, I think I'm on a third or fourth episode, so it's no, pretty interesting. No uh, relation to the video game, The Order? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've played that. Because there's definitely werewolves in that video. Oh, really? Oh, uh, maybe, I don't know. But it's kind of like Victorian, I don't know if it goes... It's not no, like, it's, it's straight up like now, present day. Oh, okay. the, He's in like a... Out of college, he's, just, he's a freshman in college trying to get into this uh, secret society huh. sorority thing, or fraternity, whatever. Cool. Um, so that one, it's on Netflix, check it out. And also, uh, I just saw this this uh, past weekend, um, Happy Death Day to you, or two, whatever. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I think it's uh, it lives up to the second one. I'm not sure if it's better, but um, is it on a par? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's always what you want to do, right? Yeah. It's, that's right. Yeah. It's it's, it's, it's I, I think it's as good as the uh, the first. They pull a lot from that from the first one. A lot of references, of course, and um, 
almost everyone from the first one is in in the second one so it's a uh, pretty cool and it's a uh, it's pretty interesting the way they end it so since you saw us did you not like it no i liked us oh okay i don't see the thing is i have to go to the theater and watch it because at the drive-in i don't know if it was just oh because i went i did the same thing i went to the drive-in and i was like this movie's too fucking dark to like watching the drive-in just because i think the projector is not strong enough to yeah and to show um, everything and there's a lot of there's a lot of scenes where i was like every, i can't really see anything everything is tr- that whole movie is it like in the dark yeah. yeah so like when you're watching it at the drive-in it's like it's basically like if you went to the movie theater and put sunglasses on oh, and watched it that was and the worst like, show oh, like so I can't see. I can kind of see stuff, but I'm gonna have to go see it again. Um, for me, I don't know. I like the messages that the movie kind of put out there, but um, I'm gonna see it again. But right now, I still think Get Out is uh, better than us. Okay. At least uh, entertainment wise. Hmm. And uh, yeah, we'll have to come. Back. I'll have to see it again, and uh, maybe, <laughs> we'll do, maybe we'll do an episode on it or something. That'd be cool That'd to be compare cool. the two. Yeah, be fun. Was that it, it for you? Uh, right? Yes. Yeah. Was it the order? The order and uh, happy death day to you. To you. To you. <laughs> yes. Uh, Diego. I actually, um, it's funny because one of my wrecks is uh, a get out. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, obviously, it's, uh, it's, to me, I, I, I went into it not knowing what the fuck to, um, um, to, yeah, to just expect. I think a lot of people, yeah, like going into that movie, were kind of like, "Oh, is this even going to be good?" Just because of, of the director, yeah. I feel like because of Jordan Peele, no one really knew he was an established director yet. But um, he's now, as soon as I saw the first opening scene, and I was just like, "Man, this motherfucker has something going on for him." Yeah, like he just like he made this movie so fucking good. And there's not enough praise for um, the way he, the way the story goes and shit, and the psychological um, uh, meaning behind it, mm-hmm. and a lot of stuff. You know, it's um, to me, it, it it's pretty fucking crazy, and um, I love lo- I loved it. It's very weird to fucking for me to love something that's like a thriller because I'm yeah. not usually into that shit, but. Like it, it was a fucking good movie. It's a really good movie. And another one is um, actually Sex Education. I don't know if it has been recommended here. It's on yet. Netflix? Netflix? Yeah, it's on Netflix. Show? It's a Netflix I show seen that from one Britain. Yet. Um, yeah. I actually started watching it with uh, Alejandra mm-hmm. <laughs> the other day. And uh, it's the funniest shit in ever. And um, I can't praise it enough. It's just a, uh, it's an, a British show. And. I fucking fell in love with it. I bench watched it maybe for like a day or two yeah. and shit. Because I guess there's two seasons. And um, yeah, man, it, it, it was awesome. I the, love it. That has uh, the lady from X Files, right? Yeah. She's like the mom or something? Yeah. Okay. Scully? Yeah. She's like a. a she's a sexual educator, right? Yeah. A sex educator or whatever. Nice. Yeah. She posts a lot of stuff on her Instagram. Uh, That's crazy. That like hardcore promoting this, this series. Like uh, behind the scenes bloopers and shit. Like she's putting a condom <laughs> on a, on a cucumber, <laughs> and then uh, it's just hilarious stuff. Check out her Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I would I would suggest um, that my two wrecks, bruh. Uh, Get out and uh, sex education. Yes. yes. Nice. I have three. Ooh. So, of course, since our uh, main focus is t- uh, tales from the crypt yeah. feature, I. Uh, I'm going to wreck the second one, Tales from the Crypt Presents Bordello of Blood, Ooh, okay. which is pretty awesome. This time it's uh, vampires. Ooh. It's got uh, Corey Feldman. <laughs> can't, can't go wrong. Yeah, Holy can't. shit. Corey <laughs> Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't seen that or maybe you've seen it been on in a few years, check it out. Bordello of Blood. Um, in my second one, I'm going to the opposite end of the spectrum with Airborne. Whoa. From the, from the Whoa. 90s. Throw me off. <laughs> the, the inline skating fucking movie, which is, it's pretty awesome. It's got, a, it's got Jack Black. Yeah. It's got uh, Seth Green. Yeah. 
a bunch of, of people. And uh, basically it's about this kid who, he's, he's basically this your average kind of surfer mm -hmm. living on the west coast and uh, his, his, um, his parents are like, uh, what's it called when they do like pantology or something like that? With plants or some, something, oh, uh, bot maybe bot botanist. botanist, yeah. Uh, so they go over, uh, or they get invited to uh, do some research in Australia. So mm -hmm. he's like, "Oh, awesome! Let's go. Where do yeah, we go?" And like, that's that's great. Yeah. And they're like, "No, we're going, but you can't leave school for that long. So you're gonna go stay with your aunt in Ohio." Yeah. But whatever. And then of course this kicks off a chain of events because uh, he's used to the West Coast, and over there it's fucking snowing. He goes over during the winter. And, like uh, he has a snowboard with him and shit, or the surfboard. Surfboarding, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then anyway, he and uh, they totally Johnny Tsunami they didn't really pop this movie at all, bro. <laughs> God damn, right? That's that's true. But Airborne all the way. It's got inappropriate things. Oh yeah. It was in that bridge of time where uh, you could get away with more. That's you so know, funny. In, in a kids yeah. movie, lots of uh, crazy stuff, but. It's a really, really good movie. I actually haven't seen that movie in forever. No. Oh, yeah? You've seen it before, though? Yeah, I've okay. seen it before. Yeah, it's great. And they do that big race at the end, and there's oh, yeah. flames yep. going from the <laughs> back of their skates and shit. Insane. It's <laughs> pretty nuts. insane. Airborne. And then uh, my, my, <laughs> Fuck. my final one is Amazon Prime's Hannah. Oh, I want to check that, that out. Was, so it's good. It's pretty good. Holy shit! Pretty I haven't good. seen it yet. It's very, very good. Um, for for those of you who haven't uh, seen the film, it was PG thirteen. It was with uh, Eric Bana, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's yeah. And uh, that's a good movie, but it's it's kind of tamed. Mm -hmm. It's a really good thriller, and I and I love it. But this show, it's like they go back and they give the fans more by kind of amping everything up with the violence. And I think it's TV mature, yeah. So they really have no guidelines, and they take full advantage of it. It's nuts. You get a lot more time to spend with everybody that they meet. Like they go through the, all the same beats of the film, okay. Uh, but in a slower pace, more, like they get more you more, and more involved. And uh, so far, I'm, I think I'm on episode four. It's brilliant. And they they do the same thing with uh, Netflix. How when they release a, a series, it's the all episodes, or do you have to wait? No, it's all it's all okay. there for the first season. Yeah, least. yeah. So check that out. Maybe do if you don't have Prime, I would uh, suggest maybe just doing the free trial just to binge this show. It's that good. Yeah. And Five, four, three, two, one. And now for the movie focus of the week. So tonight we watched Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. It's rated R. It's from 1995. It runs at a 1 hour and 33 minutes and it's got a 38 on Rot. <laughs> for the for the synopsis, I wrote the film centers around Breaker, a mysterious man who found himself in the crosshairs of a powerful, vicious demon known only as the Collector. After being stranded in a small town, will Breaker be able to stop the apocalypse or are things not as they seem? Mm. The film stars Billy Zane, William Sadler, Jada Pinkett Smith, Dick Miller, R.I.P., Brenda Bake, CCH Pounder, uh, Thomas Hayden Church, and of course the uh, the great John Kassir as the voice of the Crypt King. Oh yeah. It was directed by Ernest R. Dickerson, who you might know from, he directed Juice. Okay. And uh, he was a cinematographer for Malcolm X, nice. Spike Lee. Nice. Uh, this was written by Ethan Reef, uh, Cyrus Voris, and Mark Bishop. Bishop. Um, so obviously, I picked this movie. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's fun. It's oh, yeah. um, you know, it's uh, of course it's you know kind of silly mm -hmm. and. Uh, the reason why I picked it is because it's something I never owned this, mm. but it was always fun to uh, to catch it on TV yeah. and to see so many people and um, 
so many stars like in the beginning mm -hmm. you know before they were when they, they were they when they were, up. yeah when they were small uh it always was kind of fascinating to see and i thought that this uh this